cannons on. We're gonna try some cool stuff. One of the features is depth cycling. I'm gonna run it down. We've been catching them in 60, but we've been hitting them on a few different depths. So we're gonna go from 60, bring it up to 30, back down to 60, and just work that whole water column. See if we can get more, more bites. Dude, they're, they're beating up the fire tiger. I mean, that's basically what color I got on here is chartreuse version variation. Look at that. Oh, oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> There's the one we've been looking for. Look at that. Chad hooked up on that one, started fighting it, and right when he hooked that fish, mine started to cycle up from 60, where you caught your fish, yeah. up to 35. As soon as it got to 35, that fish was there. So he was falling it out of 60 and That's hit it. Coming. Yep. Seen some action. Pretty epic. Just like that, right when that depth cycle happened, it went from 40 feet down to, come on, ah, down to 60. And as soon as it got there, it gets smacked. Look at that little guy, it could be a coho. The other thing great about depth cycling is you can get into that shallower water column where the coho are sitting. Right as that, uh, the depth cycling started to come up, it actually got, it got up to 40 feet, and then right as it was starting to go back down to 60, it got to the bottom, boom, fish was there. As soon as that started moving up or down in the water column, we were getting hit. That time the, the fish actually ate it in 40 feet. It's been there for about 30 seconds in 40 feet of water and just smashed it. Oh my god, look at him go! One thing I love about these boots, no matter how loose it is, you still got full reel. You know? Look at this behemoth. Fights. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one, boys. That's yeah. A fish. 